Now, here's something you and I talked about years ago, and I know you were concerned with it, and that's the rising violence on the streets of Chicago, New York, and other cities. Democrat-run cities. Why is that happening? Uh, because they've taken away the authority of police. The police are not allowed to do their jobs. Uh, the stop-and-frisk program that we had very successfully in New York, people are ashamed of it. I watched uh, Bloomberg get up and totally denounce stop Are they and just frisk. misguided, or, or they, do they want to destroy the police? I think they're, yeah, they want to destroy the police. Why? They want to destroy. And now they're saying, oh, we don't want to defund the police. They are a party of misinformation, the Democrats. These are all Democratic-run cities. Look. In Chicago this weekend, you had 150 people shot. This isn't like Afghanistan where you had none. You know, in Afghanistan, we haven't lost a soldier when I was there because I did a lot of good things. We didn't lose a soldier in one year. In Chicago and in New York and these other places, you're losing them. And they're all blacks that are getting killed. It, it, for the most part, it's called black on black. It's black on black crime. It's a terrible thing. In New York, the Manhattan DA, Cy Vance, doesn't prosecute most crimes. No, they don't prosecute these people. And they don't prosecute killers. They don't prosecute drug dealers. They don't prosecute. All they prosecute. Do you know Vance? All they prosecute is Republicans. Do you know Vance? I do. I know him. And I know a lot of other people, too. And you're dealing with a group of Democrats that are really hunting for a specific Republican because I got 75 million votes plus a lot more than that. Yeah, it's a low level beef. What they did to you, 99 out of 100 is civil. They, they do a civil action and they say you owe this tax or that tax and you pay it and you pay a fine. Criminal, I, we did research to try to find out if Cy Vance had ever done this before. Yeah. We really can't find it. Maybe there were, but... They say it's never been done ever in history. So why is he doing it? Because he's told, in my opinion, to do it from Washington. They don't want me but running. But he's retiring. Why would he listen to anybody in Washington? He listens because maybe he'll go to work in Washington. You think it's a pre quo? I don't know. You, you never know what happens. Yeah. Why? Why do people do things? But uh, when you look, it's never happened in the history of the city anything like this. It's, it's really and, interesting. And what it is, is we got 75 million votes. They don't want me running again. They don't want me running again. Okay. I and, mean, look, and I think certainly a valid point of view. I think as uh, a lot of people have said, you know, when I got impeached, a phony impeachment, Russia, Russia, I, it was Hillary, it wasn't me. I went way up in the polls. When I got impeached the second time, it was 100% Democrat impeachment. And I had great support from Republicans, by the way. I went way up in the polls. Uh, this one is actually worse because if you look at this, it's never happened. A thing like this has never happened before. It's really in, in interesting. I don't last, think the people will stand for it. Last question in the formal interview, and then we'll do a little bit of a history tour. How does it feel to be the most controversial president in history? I don't think I'm the most controversial. Who? who? I don't know, but I don't think I'm, look, I did a good job. I did, I think, a great job. But you're I don't the most, think, that doesn't, let's let me put just that aside, though. though. Biggest tax cuts in history. I know that, but biggest you're the regulation most controversial case. president in history. I don't, see, I don't think so. Who I think would be more well, controversial? They, they've had plenty of controversial presidents. I mean, we've had a lot of controversial You know presidents. me, I'm a, I'm a historian. And I'll tell you what, somebody said the other day, also a historian, said they don't know of any president that's done more. We rebuilt the military. We started Space Force, not for 75 years with Air Force. Has a new military branch been developed? And we have it developed and fully developed. We've done so much. And you know what we did that some people love beyond imagination, the vaccine. If I didn't come up with a vaccine, we did it in less than nine months. It was supposed to take three to five years, and they were never going to have it. OK, I don't want you to say no, anything. No, no, but when you do these things, What's controversial? I think in the end, I no, may no, go no, down as No, 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 it's not a, what you did, it's who you are. No, I know, but I think in the end, I will be judged not necessarily for controversy, but because of what I agree with that. D down the road, they're gonna look at what you did. Now, I'm Even gonna, a subject that you talk about, and you'll be talking about in your next book, I knocked out 100% of ISIS. Right. I took it over, it was a mess. They have a map, and the red was ISIS. It was all over, I said, wait a minute, this is all over within 12 months, it was all, we, we won 100%. You know that. Yeah, I knocked know it. out Albeck Daddy. Knocked out. Well, Killing Solomon the Killers, Daddy. it comes out November 2nd. Nice Nobody did me. what I've done. They'll know what you did. 